go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, I heard that Deontay Wilder and Andrew Weeze is going down in July. Um, don't have a Pacific date. It was told to me that they're going to go ahead and fight in July. It was supposed to be May, then June, then July. So, uh, assuming that it will be on Showtime, um, uh, Showtime and Deontay Wilder seem not to have the best relationship. And, you know, you can kind of say the same thing about Earl Spence. He came back to Showtime, but... Um, you know, ultimately, Andrew Weeze is no longer with TGP Promotion, but he clarified that he's still with Al Heyman. So, um, so you in fact have that. So they will get get it on in July. Is what I'm being told. Not sure the Pacific date. Um, you hear rumors of Earl Spence fighting June 17th. Keith Thurman, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You hear Deron and his daddy said that they supposed to be coming back. They was originally supposed to be on the Tank undercard. Then he said they're going to be getting their own card. Um, their own card in AC or, 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 or in Philly. They said they should be coming back in June. You hear Jamal Charlo saying he possibly come back in June or July, even though nobody tend to believe him. Because um, he said I was going to be back in January, February. Now June and July, so both the Charlo twins gonna be out the ring, you know. By the time Jamel come back September, August September, he gonna be out the ring for over a year, and then Charlo been out the ring coming up on. Oh, it's gonna be what over two years, I believe. When he when he come back, if it is July, depending on what date it is in June. So, um, like I said before, it seemed like they got some things in the summer lined up. Uh, uh, obviously, you know. Probably people get injured, some things gonna fall apart. It's never the fights you don't want to see that fall apart. It's always the fights that you want to see that fall apart. And this, this is a fight that I can care less if it happened or don't happen. I don't have. I'm not disinterested, but I'm not highly interested um, in the fight. Um, I mean, it's cool. You know, it's cool to see Deontay come back. It's cool to see how. Yeah, Andrew Weeze, you know, figure out how to get on the inside and check, check Deontay Wilder. Interesting to see if Wilder can still take a punch. Um, so, it's a lot of questions that have to be answered here. Um, uh, retaining to Deontay Wilder, but in and in Weeze, how hungry he is. I mean, most people feel that he can't take uh, Deontay Wilder power or, or, you know, whatever it may be. Obviously, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wait and see approach, um, but uh, but yeah, they're gonna get it on in July. I don't know if they found some uh, investors or it was like, hey, Al, this is the best I can do. And they was like, All right, Al, who cool, we'll take it. I was just told they're gonna fight in July, so um, you know, more likely it's probably gonna be on the west coast, probably gonna be Vegas, LA, somewhere in there. Um, they're gonna sell black versus Mexican, Mexican. They love selling those type of fights over at PBC. And, and like I said before, they must have got the money situated. So, didn't give me a venue. Not sure if it's going to be in the in, in Middle East or something like that. And it could be. So, I really, you know, really don't know the specifics. I was just told July. So, I was going to go ahead and make it happen. So, we scraped up the money somehow, somewhere. For dudes to be satisfied. For them to both to be satisfied, you know. Deontay Wilder was telling the fans they should buy the pay-per-views and the fans are saying y'all should give us some respectable pay-per-views to buy. I think at this point they lucky that people streaming and even watching this shit. As much as they disrespect the boxing fans, they lucky people even like watching it. Because a lot of the shit I don't watch no more. If I don't have an interest in it, I don't watch it. You know? And that's, that's my opinion on it. I ain't telling nobody you gotta do what I do and what you should be interested in. We all got different flavors. Some of us like tall hoes. Some of us like short hoes. Some of us like fat hoes. Some people like somebody in the middle. Some people like skinny hoes. Hey, whatever. I ain't knocking people, knocking people for their present, they, they preferences at all. That's your preference. I can't tell you what to like and what not to like. But, um, but, um, but yeah, we'll see. You know, right now, you know, the spring is really what. These three fights this weekend, Shakur, Fondor, Bam Rodriguez, really don't care about none of the three, but it is what it is. Um, Tank and Ryan coming. 
uh, Canelo and John Ryder. I think Roley coming with Puello. Um, who else we got in the bag? Devin and Lomachenko. Um, Devin and Lomachenko coming. Uh, I'm getting over to them. Damn, bitches can't drive, bro. And the bitch ugly. So I don't really understand that part of it. Damn, the ugly bitches who can't drive. Well, pretty bitches can't drive. Then you get back over. Like, come on. I hate driving. I hate driving in the metropolitan city of Michigan. These motherfuckers is stupid, bro. They ignorant and stupid. So that's never a good combination. We the only city in the world that I know of that buy cars and don't have no license. <laughs> I just never understood it. Just go get your license. You got you got, you got a billion dollars in tickets before you get a license. It's just beyond me. I never understood that about black people. They'd rather go do shit the wrong way than do it the right way. And then be looking for, for amnesty and sympathy from, from the government and shit. It's crazy. But nonetheless, um, you know, so you got T.O., Taylor coming, Taylor, T.O. Jaime could be coming back. I don't know if it's going to be Triple G or not. That's what I mean. For the most part, that's what you got. So, you know, you would think with all these dudes being inactive, you'll see a lot of the more stacked cars. You'll see a lot of these dudes fight. So, I mean, I'm, I'm expecting uh, the same uh, type of opposition or, you know, undercar or even less coming in with Wilder and Ruiz compared to Tank and Ryan Garcia. Like I said, I'm not interested in, in Wilder and Ruiz. I don't really care. But it's a fight. And it's solid. You know, two heavyweights that best days that I think is behind them, but this fight might confirm it. Um, but, you know, they had to scramble to get money. Andy won money ever since he fought Anthony Joshua. He feel like he beat him. He entitled to a certain payday. But they need some type of... I got to agree with Dana White on this. They pay structure is way better than boxing. They pay structure is way better than boxing. I mean, way better than boxing. They know how to pay. They know how to pay their people. Boxing paying people to, to keep them. That's like, in, like to make the analogy. That's like paying a girl to stay around, like my man's casino did. You know what I'm saying? So they overpaying dudes and scraping up money. That's not a good financial, you know, thing to do. You know, you just paying the chick just to be around. Just to keep her around. That's what they're doing with the fighters. Paying the fighters just to keep them around. That's it. That's it. But, and at the end of the day, then you want them to fight a respectable matchup, and then they want to get over and compensated for it. There's got to be certain type of uh, 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 metrics that they use to show these fighters, man, that this ain't what you work. This is how many people order in a fight. This is how many people buy tickets. You're not worth that. And if you're not worth that, buy, leave. You sold on my contract, so you can fight when I say fight. This is what we willing to give you to fight. And if you ain't want to do it, or you got to be the co-feature now, you got to be on the undercard now. Because you ain't putting no revenue in. But when you promise stuff in contracts, you know, you got to, you know, meet the minimum requirements of the, of the contract. And that's the crazy thing about it. This dude over, over paying dudes. You know, overpaying them. And to me, it's a solid fight, but it ain't nothing that I'm, oh, I'm going to pay 80 bucks for it. Or, oh, I'm going to go to. Hell no, that motherfucker could be in the Bahamas. I wouldn't give a hell. It's no intrigue. I mean, no, if he's fighting Joshua, then yeah, nigga, let's roll. He, you know, let's roll. But, so it's July. So, I mean, you're going to have pay-per-views up the ass. Boxing is going pay-per-event. 
you have to pay literally pay per really the main event that's really what you're paying for ppmv or pp uh me you paying for the main event paying per main event because the undercard ain't shit you paying you know for the main event now they want the fans to directly finance boxing and then they want to raise the pay-per-view up to $85, $100, all that. I and mean, shout out to Metro. He was the first one to say, he said, Al Heyman is going to try to charge $100 for some of these uh, for some of these fights. And he had $85. That's basically $100. With tax, with the, depending on what the cable company's taxing, I might, it's $100, $90. What's $10 today? It's the equivalent of a dollar back in the day, if that. So, it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase the chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJGood313. Venmo, CJGood313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. The whole nine. Peace.